uh, endometrial zone of vascularity that is apple bomb zone for the implantations this zone of vascularity is very very important basically the uterus has the outer myometrium then your middle myometrium inner myometrium this is the endometrium okay okay let's we'll discuss that zone 1 vascularity zone 2 vascularity this is your zone 1 zone 1 zone 2 zone 2 and this is your zone 3 zone 3 and zone 4 What is the difference between 1 and 2, 3, 4? Okay, what about zone 1? Zone 1 is here. This is the endometrial vascularity zone. Before you are giving endometrial a embryo transfer, the vascularity zone has to be determined so that the implantations uh, will be better. The zone 1, zone 1 is the vascularity, the vascularity on power doppler vascularity and power doppler is seen only only at the endometrium endometrium myometrium junctions okay so you can see this is the zone one this is the this is your endometrial thickness this is your triple laminar layer triple line of endometrial this is the the vascularity you can see the vascularity in the endomyometrial junctions only this is the zone one zone one very very important then zone two is telling zone two what is zone two the zone two is here when vessels when your vessels penetrate vessels penetrate through the penetrate through the hypo hyper echoic hyper echoic endometrial edge that is the outer endometrial edge that is the outer layer outer hyper that uh, this is the outer layer this is the outer okay this is the outer hyper echoic you can see in a triple line of endometrial there will be a hyper echoic this is the hyper echoic then there will be a hypo echoic then the cavity okay triple line so the zone two basically the when the vessels is penetrated into the these are the vessels are penetrated into the outer hyper hyper echoic layer of endometrial ace okay outer layer that is zone two okay then next is your zone three zone three vascularity zone will be when blood vessels penetrate when blood vessels blood vessels are penetrated reach the intervening reach the intervening hypoechoic zones that is the hypoechoic zone okay you can see this the i told you this this part is your hypoechoic zones now the vessels are penetrated into the hypoechoic zone because uh, initially the hyperechoic layer then will be hypoechoic then the cavity then again the uh, this side also the same things okay triple line hyperechoic then hypoechoic then cavity then hypoechoic hyperechoic hyperechoic okay this is the zone 3 then zone 4 vascularity is when the vessels when the vessels reach the endometrial this is the inner layer okay blood vessels reach the inner hypoechoic layer inner layer this is the endometrial cavity very simple to remember zone one basically remember first you have to remember the endometrial lining okay endometrial lining has three layers okay one is outer hypoechoic layer this is your outer this is your outer hypoechoic layer this is your outer you can see here better this is your outer out three outer hyperechoic you can see the hyperechoic outer hyperechoic then this is your inner hypo miss the less echogenicity then this is your cavity this is your triple line triple line okay very very important first thing you have to remember the three triple line then you can easily remember the zone one zone two zone three the zone one is basically telling the it is not in the endometrial triple line it outside the triple line that is zone one is telling 
vasculatory on power doppler is seen only at the endometrial junctions it is the outside the end endometrial thickness then zone 2 in the basals this is the zone 1 in the outside only okay zone 2 just penetrating now the basals is got penetrating was penetrating okay now vessel get penetrating through the hyperechoic endometrium is outer layer of hyperechoic outer layer then zone 3 is your just now you can see the hypoechoic layer now the vessels get penetrating into the hypoechoic layer that is the inner layer when the blood vessel is the intervening hypoechoic zone inner layer that is zone 3 zone 4 when the vessels now the vessel infiltrated in the cavity now the cavity is infiltrating by the zone 4 which is the endometrial cavity okay what is the significance of this zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 okay because you can the feature of endometrial the good receptivity is dependent on the vascular implantation rate can be more coherent with your vasculitis with the vasculitis of the endometrium rather than the thickness and the morphology so conception rate if you see the conception rate were almost double that is two times double that is two times when the endometrial vasculitis was seen in zone 3 and zone 4 and when the vascularity in the endometrial reach only zone 1 zone 2 compared if you compare zone 1 versus zone 2 zone 3 and zone 1 zone 2 and versus zone 3 zone 4 zone 3 and 3 and 4 has more conception rate compared to 1 and 2 so basically before embryo transfer you have to see this zone, uh, non invasive test to see the vascularity of the endometrial thickness endometrial zone then the aversion rate also considerably high when the vascularity in the endometrial bridge only zone 1 and 2 the zone 1 2 has a aversion rate high compared to the zone 4 therefore we believe that endometrial vascularity is an important parameter to assess the implantation potential implantation potential of the endometrium so very important in IVF cycle if you are trying for a conception before going for endometrial tra embryo transfer before embryo transfer embryo transfer you have to see this zone of vascularity of endometrium zone 1 is here it is just outside the endometrial junction it only at the endometrial junction zone 2 is just the outer hyperechoic layer zone 3 the vessels will penetrate the hypoechoic layer of the inner layer then endometrial cavity is zone 4 okay zone 4 3 is very good prognosis that is implantation it is double thank you if you like this content please subscribe thank you